Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I am on my way to a junkyard to buy a Nissan Leaf motor. Uh, also with the motor, I'm going to get a uh, the gearbox and the inverter to go with it. Uh, it's the generation two, the 2013 and forward uh, style motor. So I'm hitting the road. It's only gonna be about an hour drive. Uh, sometimes if you do these online searches for uh, salvage yard parts, you know, sometimes might be hours and hours away from you. Um, one of the reasons why I'm going to get this part is frankly, it just wasn't too far away and prices seemed reasonable. So here I am hitting the road and I'll see you at the junkyard. Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We're going to Diamond Auto Parts. I headed inside to pay for my parts and get my ticket, and then I was asked to go to the other end of the facility to their shipping and receiving, where I could pick it up. Shipping and receiving. The electric motor was on a two x four assembly rather than a pallet, which was good because it would fit the width of my car. Unfortunately, altogether, uh, this was actually a little bit too tall to fit through the hatch in the back of the Chevy Volt. So instead, what we'd have to do is get close with the forklift and then slide the entire assembly off the skid and just manhandle it into the back of the car. Uh, now, with a couple of guys, it wasn't too bad, but still, I'd have to be able to do the opposite of this at home by myself. So right across the street from the auto parts place is a Menards, kind of a big box home improvement store, because I need some ratchet straps. I didn't bring any with me. Um, I have some at home. They were little, literally snowed in behind a, about a three-foot snow bank, so... I had to cross the street without this thing tipping over. Uh, so I'll pick up some ratchet straps, actually properly tie it down, and then I can drive it home. So here we go. We've got the Nissan Leaf electric motor just crammed in the back of the Volt here, uh, cause it is pretty tall when you got everything together on it. But it looks pretty cool through the back glass like a Lamborghini or something. But I need this to not tip over on me on the drive home. All lashed down. And time to head home. Once I got home, I got out my engine hoist, but still there were a couple of challenges here. Uh, for starters, there weren't too many good lifting points on the Nissan Leaf driveline, so I ran some ratchet straps kind of through the whole thing uh, just to have a place to pick from. But secondly, the engine hoist, the legs on it are kind of long, and the Chevy Volt is uh, its a low car, and the spread of the legs on the engine hoist were about the same as the wheel so I was kind of limited where I could actually put the base of the engine hoist so I kind of had to wrestle that around a little bit and even then the Nissan Leaf motor was in the car too far so I'd have to wrestle it out a bit. Once I did get it all hooked up and started hoisting up, I could also see that the chain on my engine hoist was too long. Uh, the boom of the hoist would hit the hatch of the car before the bottom of the motor would clear the bottom of the car. So what I'd have to do is actually unhook the chain, shorten it, and rehook it. It's another nice thing that I just realized since the top part is technically the charger, this also comes with the J1772 charge port, yay! Now let's see if we can get this thing out of here. But the other thing here is if you'll notice, uh, we're just clearing with the engine hoist on the top and just clearing it on the bottom.
Okay, well, we did just manage to get this thing inside. Uh, not too many great lifting points on it, unfortunately. And I'm um, just got a lot of other stuff in here, so unfortunately I don't have a lot of space to work in. But we got the leaf motor inside, and now we can start playing with it. So I really hope this motor will work out for the electric tractor conversion project, but if nothing else, I want to take it apart, show you how it all works. Please, if you like these videos, share, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And until next time, stay charged up.